Hi friend, today we're gonna look at a free and easy way to send audio from your DAW to OBS when you're using a Mac. Doing this is gonna allow you to use all the software instruments and plugins available to you in your DAW and apply those to your live stream so that you can get great sounds for your shows. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is download a virtual audio driver. I'm gonna be using an audio driver called Soundflower today. Now at the moment, as you can see here, Soundflower doesn't support M1 chip-based Macs. So if you have a newer Mac, then I'd suggest you use an audio driver called Black Hole, which works the same, it's just created by a different software developer. And both of these are free to use. So I'm gonna go down here and download the DMG file. And now I'm gonna double click to install and you'll get this message. So what you wanna do is click OK and simply right click on the Soundflower package file and then click open. And you'll see this message and then you can now open the file. And then we'll run through the installer. Once you've installed the driver, we'll just hit close here. You can choose to move it to the trash or keep it. And now if we go to our system preferences to sound, you'll see we now have a new audio device called Soundflower 2 channel and Soundflower 64 channel. Now, as I mentioned before, these are virtual devices. So you won't actually hear any audio pass through here if you simply select this as your output. So what we need to do is create a multi-output device. So I'll show you how to do that. So to do this, we're gonna to go to our audio MIDI setup, which you can find under our applications and utilities, or you can simply go to the finder and type in audio MIDI setup, and that'll come up. So now you'll see I have my audio interface here. I've got Soundflower and any other audio drivers that you have installed. So what we wanna do is click on the little plus button here, and we wanna go create multi-output device. So here we wanna select Soundflower 2 channel, as well as our audio interface, or however you're listening back to your audio. So if this is your built-in computer speakers, then you'd select built-in computer speakers. In my case, this is gonna be the Profire 2626. And now for master device, set this to your audio interface. So I'm gonna change this to Profire, and I'm gonna make sure Drift Correction is selected for Soundflower, which it is. And for sample rate, you want this set to whatever your audio interface is set to. And generally, when you're working with video and live streaming, you're gonna have this set to 48 kilohertz. So I'm gonna scroll down here, and I'm gonna rename this multi-output device just so I'm clear on exactly what it is. So all we gotta do is click here, and I'm gonna rename it Soundflower slash profile. So what's happening now is whenever we select the Soundflower Profire multi-output device as our output device, is we're gonna be sending audio out of our audio interface, the Profire, and simultaneously, we're also gonna be sending audio out of the Soundflower two-channel audio driver, which is what we're gonna to use to receive our audio in Zoom or OBS or any other software where we wanna have incoming audio from our DAW. So now that we've created that, I can close this and let's head over to our DAW. Now I'm gonna be demonstrating in Logic Pro X today, but you can do this on any DAW that's installed on your Mac. So I'm gonna go up to Logic Pro here and then Preferences and then Audio. So currently I have my output device set to Profire. So once again, that's my audio interface but I'm gonna change this to the multi-output device that we created, which again, we named Soundflower slash Profire multi-output device. I'm gonna select that. So once again, so now the audio from my DAW is gonna go through my audio interface so I can actually hear it out of my speakers and my headphones. And it's also gonna to go to this virtual Soundflower driver. So now that we've got that set up, we can close this. And now I'm gonna head over to OBS. So if you're starting with a blank scene in OBS, this is what it should look like. So we don't have any audio or video sources yet in OBS. So what we need to do, click the plus button, 
we'll go to add audio input capture and we can name this whatever we'd like I'm gonna name it Soundflower and under device I'm gonna select Soundflower to channel so this is how we're gonna be receiving the audio from our DAW and I'll hit OK and now we're all set up to receive audio from our DAW so now I've split my screen so you can see I've got my DAW on my left and OBS on the right and I just have a software instrument loaded in, which is just a basic piano. And if I play that, you can see here that sound from our dot is indeed getting sent to OBS. So now that we have that all set up, we're free to use any of the software instruments in our DAW. So if I wanted to, I could switch this to an organ, let's say. Or I could load in a bunch of audio tracks. And mix a full band right in my DAW and send that to OBS to use for my live stream. So it just opens up a whole lot more options for you and your live streams when it comes to audio. And there you go, it's just that easy. If you wanna learn more live streaming tips and tricks, please download my free live streaming like a pro quick start guide by following the link in the description below. If you have any questions or need help with your live streaming setup, please leave those in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.